We have all seen those amazing tech demos with incredible lighting. Stutter. I'm about sick of the performance with Unreal Engine 5. On paper, Unreal Engine 5 is incredible. There is no denying that Nanite and Lumen are absolutely amazing tools to use. But like any tool, if they are not used correctly, they are completely useless. No, God, please, no! The engine offers a lot of power, but that power comes at a massive cost, if used incorrectly, which we have all seen by now. Unreal Engine 5 is amazing for creating film-like assets for CG cutscenes and even actual movies. The problem is when you do this in a game, it repeatedly falls short because it's horribly unoptimized for an interactive environment. One of my issues with it is the upscaling crutch. Every single Unreal Engine game that comes out pretty much has to be upscaled, mostly from 720p to 1080p or even 4K. The games are so heavy that you can't really run them without it. And even with all that upscaling, you still have the infamous UE5 stutter. But it's more than just shader compilation. It has to deal with data streaming and a massive bottleneck that really loves to hit that CPU. Nanite has allowed developers to use extremely high-end, incredibly detailed assets. While it sounds great, it's a massive problem. It's basically like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. When you're trying to stream that data in real time, say for objects that are 500s or even a gig all in one small scene, and that data has already been compressed. You're having to decompress it in real time on a CPU that is already struggling just to run the systems of the engine. It's going to cause stuttering and a big time bottleneck. And it's why when I see a 150 gigabyte file size game now, it's a major red flag for performance. The bigger the game, the more data that has to be decompressed in real time. And this is where Sony did something that was brilliant with the PS5. They built in a specialized chip that controls the decompression before the data gets pulled into the game. This is why you don't have the same kind of stutter on PlayStation 5. But you still have major performance issues because the PS5 doesn't have a 4090 in it, which is what it takes to run some of these games. Just as a comparison, a game like Horizon Forbidden West is massive, but it runs great because it's a 100 gigabyte file size that is spread out over an entire world. You're not streaming as much dense data as you are in a small section of a UE5 game. To get the same level of performance and fidelity, you would basically need a PC with three to four times the power to run an Unreal Engine game at the same quality as Horizon. That is insane. It's a fundamental problem that makes UE5 feel like a bloated beast that you have to rely on brute force for it to even function. While the engine is extremely heavy and you really can't fix that, it still comes down to optimization. And that doesn't mean coding, it means optimizing everything. Polygon counts, textures, Hell, even the file types of textures matter. If you make a game using Unreal Engine 5 and optimize that game just like you normally would, then turn on Nanite, you would see a game that ran and looked good without any level of detail shifts. That is how Nanite should be used. It should not be used to push two to three million polygon rocks. That is completely pointless. As of right now, there is no great solution to play Unreal Engine 5 games. On PlayStation 5, you don't have stutter, but you're limited by the GPU. On PC, you're limited by your CPU and it's starting to get really old. The other problem is that developers just find it easier. They don't want to take the time. They just sculpt the assets, throw them in the game, and slap on an upscaler. And there you go. I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta right now, and it's beautiful. But there is no excuse for that game to have any performance issues, especially when it's still set up in the same small bite-sized levels that Kojima made run perfectly on a PlayStation 2. At this point, it's more of a developer-led problem than an engine problem. The engine isn't perfect. It has some single core CPU threading issues. Have you noticed the low performance and low resolution in almost all Unreal Engine 5 games? At this point, I would rather have games that look like Half-Life 2 running flawlessly at 4K, but that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you kindly leave a like and subscribe, and I will talk to y'all later.